Good day everyone. Today we're going to be making porcupine rissoles. This is a childhood favorite of mine. And if you live in the southern hemisphere where it's cold as hell right now, this is the perfect comfort food. So what we're going to be using today is a can of tomato soup, mince, preferably beef. I only had pork and veal, so use what you got. A cup of rice, two carrots, and one brown onion. First step, peel your carrots. If you've never seen how to peel a carrot in your life, well, congratulations. This is how you do it. It's pretty simple. And for the people that already know how to do it, peel it, chop the tops and bottom. Next step, we need to get the skin off of the onion. Cut off the top, cut the onion in half, and it's the most easiest way to peel. You're gonna be grating your whole entire onion and as well as be grating your whole entire carrot as we want to keep those flavors nice and mixed through. Remove all the starch off the rice by rinsing it off and making sure the water is clear. You're going to be popping in your whole onion along with a tablespoon of minced garlic, your carrots. I'm going to get all that off and because I'm not a grub, I'm just going to scrape the rest off of the bench. Boom, done. Next off, put in your rice. Put in the leftover bits and plonk in some mint. Generous cracking of pepper because we want to keep it spicy and as well as a pinch of salt and mix away. You want to be able to get it all well incorporated so make sure you give it a thorough mixing because we want to make sure all the things are in there. Next step is to make the result. You're looking about one and a half inches give or take on your result. Please make sure that you make a consistent result because you want to make sure that they cook evenly. There's nothing worse than one overcooked and one undercooked result. It's always a pain. Next steps are is that you're going to be getting your can of tomato soup. I've used the Heinz Big Red and you're going to be putting at least two to three cups of water and putting it up to a boil. So we're going to be plonking in our rissoles. Make sure to evenly distribute so that they all have their own space. And after 45 minutes, there we go. Beautiful porcupine rissoles. Now let's serve those up. Now the perfect side I find is mashed potato. You're going to put a generous heaping of that. Make a little bit of a well just so that the rissoles can have a little spot to sit down to. And as well as pour on lots of sauce. I'm going to put three rissoles because I'm feeling extra special and lots and lots of sauce. Yeah, that mix with the mash is so good. I'm salivating at the thought of it. And because you're healthy, sprinkle of scallions on top just to make sure you've got some greens. But that's it. That is how you make porcupine rissoles. It's so bloody easy. Please try and make it. I want to see your pictures. Please like and share this around.